Oh, magnify. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day, hey! This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. So we shall re rejoice in the Lord. So can we stand and go before the Lord and pray? Hallelujah. 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 We come to thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We come to thank you, Lord, before we ask you for anything, God. We thank you for laying us down last night. We thank you for rising us up this morning. We thank you today, God, because you've been so good to us, God. You gave us one more chance, so we thank you. You got a roof over our heads, so we thank you, God. You kept fire and hurt harm and danger away from us, God. So we thank you this morning, God. You kept us out of the hospital, God. So we thank you, God. You kept us out of the crazy house, God. We thank you, God. You did it for us once again, God, so we thank you. We come to magnify you, God. And we come to lift you up, oh God. And we come to glorify your name, God. Because your name is worthy to be praised. Your name is above all names, so we glorify you. And we honor you, God. We come to glorify you today, God. We ask you to sing your anointing in this house. And make preaching easy today, God. Uh, 
Lift up heavy burdens. Lift up the broken hearted. Lift up the hung down head. Lift up the weary minds, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you today, God. We ask you to do it, God. Since your kind of glory, God. Let the wind of glory fall in the house. Let the wave of glory fall in the house. Let the anointing fall, oh God. And we give you glory, God. We ask you to bless, oh God. Bless the choir, God. Every song that they sing, God. You get the glory out of their life, God. Every praise that go up, God. You get the glory, God. God, they sing to your glory, God. And use them for your glory, oh God. In the name of Jesus, bless the musicians, God. Everything that they hit, God. Every key that they play, God. They pray it to your anointing, oh God. Not their glory, God, but your glory, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you, God. Bless every leader of this house, God. Every elder, God. Every minister, God. Every missionary, God. God, give us a do right mind, God. Put fire in our feet and working in our hand, God. That we do your will, God, but not our will, God. That we hold up leadership, oh God, in this hour, oh God. And in this time, oh God. Oh God, we ask you to do it, oh God. Bless the leader of this house, oh God. Bless our pastor and bishop, God. Continue the script in them, oh God. Continue to hold them up, oh God. In this time, oh God. Give them strength, oh God, when they get tired, God. Give them strength, oh God, when they get weary, oh God. Give them strength, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it, oh God. Bless the lay people, oh God. Bless every member of the house of prayer, oh God. Bless the ones that's visiting us today, God. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, God, and we give you praise, God. We ask you to heal sick all over, God. Heal affliction all over, God. Heal diseases, oh God. And we ask you to do it, oh God. God, we ask you to lay your hand on them, oh God, and give them strength, oh God. Lay your hand on that family, God, that's sitting at the bedside of their loved one, oh God, and don't know which way to go, God. You give them guidance, oh God, and you give them peace, oh God. We give you glory today, God. God, and we magnify you, God. We ask you to have your way, God, when we leave here today, God. Let us leave here lifted up, oh God. When we leave here today, God, let us leave here chained and, uh, and set free, oh God. And we give you the glory, God. And we give you the praise, God. Because you are on time, God, and you are delivering, God, and we thank you. We clap our hand, we open up our mouth, and we say, Thank God. We say, Thank God. Thank God for the glory of God. Hallelujah. At this time, missionary Barbara is coming to read us a scripture. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll be reading from Psalms 23. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. The, yo, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely mercy, mercy and goodness shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us read our affirmation of faith. We affirm our faith in the Bible. We affirm our faith in God. We affirm our faith in the blessing hope. We affirm our faith in repentance and salvation. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost. We 
we affirm our faith in sanctification. Amen. Can we give God praise? Can we give God praise? Hallelujah. At this time, the voices of praise is coming, but can we still give God praise? Because he's been good to us.
this morning. I just want you to think about how good God's been to you. And if you could just let your mind go back to how good God has been to you, you need to give him some praise right now. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Look at somebody and tell them, you don't know what I've been through this week. But I'm here. Now give him praise because you are here. Bless you. The Lord love you. I am thankful to the Lord for his many blessings to me. Whatever the problem, whatever the situation, whatever the condition, whatever the disappointments that you might have and I might have, we need to give God praise. We need to be thankful. I mean, you're really thankful to God. I, 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 I sense that you want to relax this morning. But I'm sorry, I, I, I can't relax. I, <laughs> because when I think about where God brought me from, not only me, but my family. Hallelujah! Uh, I'll have a Holy Ghost fit in here by myself if you don't want to help me give God praise. Give the Lord praise. Kalina with me. Kalina is giving God praise. I said, I have little Kalina in here with me. She's giving God praise. She just, look, 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 look. <laughs> praise God. Bless you, God. Love you. God keep you. God bless you. I love all of you with the love of the Lord. Look at somebody and tell somebody I love you with the love of the Lord. It is nothing that we have done so great that God has blessed all of us. You didn't have to be here this morning, did you? But thanks be unto God, first of all, that I wanted to be here. Yeah, I said I wanted to be here. And that's why I'm here. Praise God that in spite of everything, sometimes you might get a text from me and I might say, in spite of everything, in spite of everything, we got somebody say, in spite of everything, every one of us in here can begin to enumerate some of everything. But because it's been so good to me, I won't go there. I won't go there. I'll just give him some praise. Give him some praise. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord. Set the atmosphere in here. Set the atmosphere. Oh, God. The Lord.
Lord bless you every tither would you come and stand in the aisle every tither people of the Lord it is so critical that we worship God with our tithe offering tithe is giving back to God and worshiping him. Not with a token, but he sets the standard. Let everybody say he sets the standard. The word of the Lord teaches us to worship the Lord with just 10%. Do I have anybody here that if I were to tell you I want to bless you with a $20 bill or a $50 bill. Listen to me carefully. I just want to make this plain and simple to all of us. God said, I'll give you 10 if you just give me one back. That's all. Who would not take that deal? How many of you like bananas? I think everybody likes bananas. <laughs> you get 10 bananas and the, and the giver that gives to you said, just give me one back. That's all. I'll give you 10. I think you'll take that deal anyway, would you? God wants to bless your going in and your coming out if you trust God. If you trust God. If you believe God. Are you listening to me? The people of the Lord, the House of Prayer Church, those of you that's on Zoom, whatever platform you might be on, we're so thankful to have you and that you are part of this worship hour. I am so thankful to be here worshiping with you this morning. Last Sunday morning, I was in Brunswick, Georgia, worshiping at one of our churches there in Brunswick, Georgia. Not preaching, not sharing, just testified to the goodness of God. My son and my daughter, we were there at the Friendship Ministries Church of God in Christ in Brunswick, Georgia. Beautiful people, pastors. But wherever I go, I want to let everybody know who I know. Hello. Not only don't don't just be I pleasers, men pleasers. Be a person that God can trust you when you're all alone. The real you comes out when you're by yourself. Always remember that me, you all over the globe. The real you comes out when you are alone by yourself. Always remember that character of God, the reality of God, your walk with God, your love for him, your obedience to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our God. And when we obey God in every area of our lives, not just in some areas, but do your very best. What did I say? Do your very best to obey God in every area of your life and your walk with God. And giving is a part. Listen, God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his only begotten son for you and for me as I'll share with you today. The spirit of giving lives within us when we have Christ that lives in us. Tell the Lord thank you. Bless us, Father, as we come to worship you with our giving. Bless us now, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your word be fulfilled in our lives. Thank God for Jesus. Amen and amen. Come on. Would you worship the Lord with your giving?
And let me just say this. I was just sharing with the, go ahead and play, play, play. I was just, my son was sharing with me. We were together and I cherished the moment. Whenever I am able to be with, I have my tithe. I did not fix, prepare it yet. I am a tither. And everything that God blesses me with, I tithe. Did you hear what I said? Everything. Everybody didn't say amen, but I don't care. I live with myself day by day. But I just want to say this. Some of you tied my son with sense. You know, Dad, say every time I, when I get my uh, check, when I, my, my money goes straight to my account, I check it in on that day it's supposed to be there. It's there. He said, then I send my tithe to the church. He said, I send it to the church. He said, but you know, when they call for the tithe, he said, I was sitting there. He said, he, he said, you better get up and get in that line and let people know that you are a tither. I agree with them a thousand percent. There might be some of you have already sent your tithe. You plan on doing it, whatever, through the, hello, cash app, whatever, give the five, whatever. You need to be always be in the line higher that you give and worship the Lord. And you see, ever since that hit me in my spirit, he said, I've been in that owl. <laughs> I've been in that owl. And uh, he said that the lady that takes care of that uh, part of the ministry that said, yeah, but you don't have to get in the line. I said, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm not in the line. <laughs> you, you always, you, your type is always there. Sometimes you have to be seen. You're not to be seen. You don't give to be seen, but sometimes you need to be seen giving. Did you hear what I said? Sometimes you need to be seen giving. That's critical. Why will I dwell and why will I encourage you to do that? Because I know how important it is for the people of God, for the people of the Lord, to worship God when you give it. Regardless of how small, regardless of how great. I don't care if you sell uh, your house and if you make a profit off of your house or if you, whatever you get, whatever you receive, worship the Lord with your type. Hello? God's got a blessing for you that you know not of. How many ever been blessed by God and you know that it was nobody but the Lord? You don't necessarily have to be blessed. Listen to me carefully financially. And that's that's a wonderful thing. Somebody said, don't give. And you, know, you give with expectation. Hello? Give with expectation. But listen, some of us have been blessed beyond measure and money didn't have anything to do with it. Well, I, heard, I hit somebody card this morning. You've been blessed by God and Money was not involved, financial blessing. And that's that's a wonderful thing to be blessed financially, not expecting. Classic example, I just received a card from a wonderful person. And I opened it up and there was a blessing, financial blessing there. I wasn't expecting that this morning. Are y'all listening to me? I was not expecting. But it's a blessing. Hello? So when we give and worship God with our giving, God's got a way of blessing you, my brothers and my sisters, that you know not of. Amen? Well, the Lord bless you. I greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ on this morning, the first Sunday in April. Somewhat got by me. I'm thinking that, oh, Lord, is this the second Sunday? Don't laugh at me because some of you were also. Because, oh, some of y'all wasn't thinking that way. I was the only one. <laughs> God bless all of you. Heaven smile upon you. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Well, it is time for us to go further into our services. At this time, we'll receive, I believe, the announcements at this time. God bless. Say amen. God bless you.
Well, excuse me this morning. When I tell you the devil was busy, you have no idea. But I thank God to be here this morning. Amen. Amen. So if you have, uh, if, you, if there are any pledges that you need to, would like to give for the basement, you can see Sister Ruthina. Um, we'd like to acknowledge all of our guests. Do we have any guests in the house? All of us are family. I see some faces that I'm not familiar with, but I'll just tell you anyway. We welcome you on behalf of our pastor and bishop. We thank you for gracing us with your presence, and we welcome you to the house of prayer. Let's give them a round of applause. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Um, we thank everyone who attended yesterday's the evangelism prayer breakfast. What a time we had. The Lord met us there. Amen. The speaker was amazing, and the food was outstanding. Um, we are asking everyone for next Sunday, let's say next Sunday at 3 o'clock, will be our pew rally. Let's give a round of applause. We're excited about that, right? So it's, uh, it's, you can have a pew here, or you can have a virtual pew. That means you can ask people to donate to the cause. We're trying to finish up this basement project, amen, so we can get downstairs. Um, we want to thank everyone who uh, took pictures um, on Easter with Sister Joanne. There were some beautiful photos taken, right? Amen. And we want to give a round of applause to our youth department who put on a wonderful program last Sunday. Amen. We were truly blessed. Can you say the Mother's Day brunch? Yes, that will be taking place on May 11th, and it will be from 11 to 3. Um, Sister Ruthina does have tickets. Just know that if you purchase, a, if you do take a ticket, you are responsible for the monies that need to come in for that. Amen. We are planning a wonderful time for all of our mother, mothers with prizes and, and surprises for all of our mothers. So if, you, if you're a mother, you should come, but if you know someone, that would be a wonderful gift to give someone that great treat on Saturday. Amen. We have a great time. Um, I think that's everything except for our sick and shut-in. We're still praying for our own Ebony Fowler. That we're expecting nothing less than a miracle, and this happening every single day. Amen. We thank God for Sister Alma. We're praying for her son, Burl. I'm trying to do this from my head. As you see, I don't have any notes. Um, I'm, we thank God for our own uh, sister, I'm trying to say Sister Irene, who's here. We thank God for Sister Roman, who's in the back. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for um, Bishop Cahoon, who's back in our presence. Amen. We pray for his continued health and strength. Um, we're praying for our own Elder Reddick, who's here with us today. Amen. Amen. And I was trying to see, and we're also praying for our, our own Elder Fowler. Amen. He is out of the hospital and doing well. We're still remembering in prayer um, Minister Hauser and Minister Stan, Sam Norman. Minister Hauser did um, suffer a broken nose and a concussion, but God is good. If you saw the pictures of the, that car, you'd be praising the Lord that someone could walk away from it. Amen. We're praying for, we're still praying for Bishop Cahoon and the Harris family and the loss of their, of their sister. Amen. And we're also asking you to remember the Kitchens family and the loss of their oldest sister, Yolanda. At this time, we're having our own minister, Whitlock, come to pray for our sick and our bereaved. God bless you all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's all we want to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for every name that was called. Thank you, Lord, for names that wasn't even called, God. But we thank you, God, because you're healing. We thank you, God, because you already healed them, God. And we thank you, God, because we trust and believe in God that you're putting them back on their feet 100% completely, God. So we thank you for it, oh God. We thank you for doing it for us, oh God. We thank you for showing house of prayer that you are God that sit high and look low. Uh, that you are God that don't make no mistakes. So we thank you for that. Uh, you the God that can heal when it don't even look like they should be healed. Uh, you turn it around for the good. So we thank you. What the devil meant for evil. Uh, you let them know 
know that he lost once again, uh, and you won the fight. So we thank you for it, oh God. Uh, and we magnify you for it, oh God, and we give you glory, God. Uh, we ask you to continue to bless our pastor and bishop, God. Continue to bless his family, God. Uh, continue to hold him up in this hour of bereaving, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus and every bereaved family, we ask you to continue to bless him and strengthen him, oh God. Uh, and God, we ask you to touch Elder Reddit, oh God. Uh, touch him in a special way, God. Uh, touch him from the crown of his head, God. Uh, to the soul of the feet, oh God. Uh, strengthen his body, God. Uh, strengthen every organ, oh God. Uh, strengthen, oh God. Uh, do it for him, oh God. Uh, because God, he's faithful to you, God. Uh, he's faithful to your kingdom, oh God. Uh, and God asks you to bless him, oh God. Uh, bless Lady Reddit, oh God. Uh, touch your body, oh God. Uh, from the crown of her head, God. Uh, to the soul of her feet, oh God. Uh, and we give you glory, God. Uh, and we give you praise, God. Uh, so we clap our hand all over the house. Uh, and we magnify you. Uh, and we open our mouth uh, and we say thank you Lord uh, for the healing power we say thank you Lord uh, for deliverance power we say thank you Lord uh, for way making power we say thank you Lord uh, for door open power we say thank you Lord uh, for keeping power and we give you glory God uh, because you are the way maker God uh, and we say thank God uh, we say thank God uh, thank God amen hallelujah God is a good God um, God is a good God. God is a good God. Can you clap your hand and give God praise if you know that he's a good God? Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, God. 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 Glory, God. We glorify you, God. We glorify you, God. We glorify you, God. We glorify you, God. We give we give you praise God. 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 You are on time God. You are healer God. You are delivered God. So we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. God we glorify you. God we glorify you. We shake it up on fire. Hey, I am a Messiah. Oh, top of sake. In the name of Messiah. Hey, shake it up. In the name of Messiah. Oh, top of Messiah. Hey, God. We give you glory. As you go. What a prayer! What a prayer! Lift your 
you the Lord bless all of you hallelujah glory to God make ready for our morning offering at this time our morning offering at this time everyone make sure that you have an envelope envelopes make sure you raise your hands I have mine our morning offering praise God God bless you preacher great prayer the Lord use you Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Raise your hands. Raise your hands. You need envelopes. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord love you on this day. Praise God. Before COVID, wreaked havoc. Do you know this is the fourth year? March 15th were four years. Doesn't seem like it. Four years. Some of you here might have almost died like I did. But God was not ready for you nor me. If you were affected in any kind of a way, your family, whatever, and you are yet here, you need to give God some praise. There are so many people that did not make it that had COVID. But God blessed us and touched all of us. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. You did an excellent job in praying for the sick and shut in. I want to say this. If you've never been sick, you cannot really appreciate good health. No. If you've never been sick, you cannot really appreciate good health. But if you've been sick and couldn't get well, And God, let everybody say God. God touched you. I received the card just a few minutes ago as I was saying, said that when your strength, when your strength gives out, let God's strength take over. Do I have anybody in here that have allowed God glory. Your strength. Hallelujah. Anybody in here? Anybody in here that have, know that it was nobody but God's strength? God's strength. Bless your son. God's strength. Nobody but God. Nobody but God. Look at somebody and release it in the atmosphere again. Nobody but God. God bless you, Sister Julie. Sheila from the Reed Temple Church. God bless an elder Reddick. Say amen. God bless them on today. How many here really love the Lord? Stand to your feet, everybody. Let's receive our offering. I'm going to preach to you this morning. Share a word with you. God bless all of you. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for these, your people, who have come to worship you in the beauty of holiness. And now as we come to worship with our giving again, you bless us. For our giving in Jesus' name of Nazareth, we pray, thank God. Amen and amen. Will you come to us as we lead you out? Will you come? Everyone march, please. Everyone come. That's it, son. Come on. Come on.
let us come. Sunday, is that right? Yes, First Sunday communion, praise God. Somebody say all day long is right. I'm glad that God included me in this all day long, hopefully. summoned and at the hospital and I'm giving thanks to God. God used medical technicians and others but it was God. My heart was in AFib that you may not understand what that is but it's not beating the way it should be. Part of it is trembling and going fast and part of it is not going but they put me on the table and they shot me. They have to put you to sleep. And they shot my heart. And today I can tell you, it's beating right. Hallelujah. 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 That's why I'm thankful. And it's not just for what God has done for me. Because I'm thankful what God is doing for others as well. When the Lord blesses us, we always want to share that blessing so that somebody else can receive it because we are not selfish. God is so gracious, and so we must respond in that way. Now, having shared my testimony, <laughs> we anticipate the powerful word that will come from our pastor. I say our pastor. And I guess I'm having the benefit of being a member of New Reed Temple and being an honorary member of the House of Prayer, oh, yeah. <laughs> for which I thank God. So 
So let's listen attentively. After the choir will have come and will have shared with us the sermonic selection for what the Lord will say to us through the man of God today. What an honor, what a blessing, what a privilege we have to be able to hear, to share, and glorify our God.
thankful for your blessings that you have poured on all of us this morning to be a part of this time of worship and praise. And then to share a word with the people of God. We pray for the unction and anointing of the Holy Spirit. Touch our minds and give us clarity of thought and precision of word. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost be upon us and the power of Almighty God be in the midst of us because your word has declared that where two or three are gathered in your name, you in the midst of us, Lord, and you're proving that to us with your presence. In our time of worship here on today, God, I thank you for the privilege to stand. There's so many people that would to God that they could stand on their feet. And then that they pray and ask you, let them take a step or two. But look at us. <laughs> you blessed us all and we're standing today and... We can walk and we can move and have our being in you. God, we thank you. Bless your word and speak to our hearts and lift us and encourage us and remind us through your word as to who we are. It is through and by the power of Almighty God that we are who we are. And through your love that you demonstrated on Calvary's cross, and God, our Father, raised you on the third day. And you were victorious over the grave, over death. Because you were resurrected from the dead. And God, we thank you. We continue. We celebrate that every day. The resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank God. Amen and amen. Give God a praise before you take you see, and just thank God that you're able to stand. And you have the activity of your limbs. And you're in your right mind. You may be seated. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless all of you. We certainly do thank God for you that are here on this morning. May God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. I ask you to take your Bibles and turn with you, with me to the book of Luke. Want to encourage you, chapter 24. That on next Sunday is a very important Sunday. And if you have not committed to sit with anybody on that pew, you can sit with your pastor. And uh, you can help me raise a lot of money because we're getting ready to furnish our downstairs, new tables, new chairs, new stove, all of that good stuff, refrigerator, freezer, all of that need to be placed downstairs. And for our seniors, by the help of God, that we'll be able to have one of those uh, chair lifts for those of you to go down and come up. Amen? Amen. And there's so many other things that we would have been discussing with some of you and different community services and programs that we have a wonderful place. If you haven't gone down there to take a look, you need to take a look. At, and Sister Joanne had some had a beautiful backdrop, I understand. I, I saw it. They sent it to me. Uh, the backdrop that you had taken pictures on last Sunday. I'm just so sorry that I was not here. But there will be another time. And uh, I think that everybody should bring your friends, your family, and uh, be a participant of that particular initiative of taking pictures. You know, pictures help you to remember. Is that right? Am I talking about myself? I was just looking at a picture of my daughter. Had to be one of my daughters that put on right by my nightstand. A picture, two pictures of my dear mother that I had not seen those pictures and they go back maybe 30 years ago 40 years ago that she took those pictures but I remembered her in that particular time pictures can speak 
what did they say? A picture is better than a thousand words. Is that right? Yeah, look at that. Man, you wish somebody see that, they think that you're in a mansion. <laughs> God bless the house of prayer, church of God in Christ. Amen? Amen. The book of Luke, chapter 24, I prayed, and I know I heard that we had a great service here last Sunday. The youth were on parade. It was a tremendous setting on last Sunday, and we're glad to see you that are here on today. Thank you, all of you who communicated with me, your cards, texts, uh, call, phone calls, uh, in regards to giving us strength uh, during the time. That uh, was my oldest sister. Uh, she would have been 90 years old if she would have lived December uh, 20, December 30th, I believe it was. It is. Uh, she was the oldest of all of us. And she mothered me. I don't need to say or need to tell you, uh, my mother was the mother of 13 children. And she was the oldest. So back in those days, they, uh, the oldest had great responsibility. And I won't go into that right now. But uh, I loved her even at the celebration. I told my brothers and my sisters, I said, I don't care what you say, I was left for you. She was such a wonderful person. God bless you. 24th chapter of the book of Luke and the 44th verse. This is the great commission that the Lord Jesus Christ himself left on record and spake these words. And he said unto them, the 44th verse, listen to this carefully. Listen to this carefully. These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled. Everybody say fulfilled. Fulfilled. Which were, which were written in the law. Let everybody say law. law. In the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Everybody say understanding. understanding. And said unto them, listen to this carefully, thus it is written and thus it behooves Tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. It is written because it is necessary, is what he's saying to us, Christ to suffer to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, and ye are witnesses of these things. All right, the Lord bless you, and the Lord love you on today. These words, you may be seated, these words were spoken to us by the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We celebrate it. On last Sunday, we celebrated Resurrection Sunday. But Sister Jereen, Resurrection Sunday and Resurrection Day is every day for the believer. Because that's where your victory lies. In the resurrection, let everybody say in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> what struck me to share these words with you on today when I was reading this, uh, when my devotions, I think it was the day before, that 
the words that Jesus spake to his disciples mm -hmm. and the word understanding yeah. that he touched their understanding. Yeah. My brothers and my sisters, let me just share this with you. Understanding is the most critical component to your life than any other phase, any other, there's a whole lot that we can add and we can say. Mm -hmm. But that's one of the most important mm -hmm. areas to have understanding. Yeah. You ever talk to some somebody, some person that did not have understanding as to what you were trying to share with them? It is a challenge when people don't have understanding. Everybody say understanding. Understanding. To receive an intelligent interpretation of any part, you must first get the understanding of the whole. Yes. If I were to tell all of you, get up, turn around twice. Go back to the back of the church and come back and sit down. If you didn't hear me mm -hmm. and you didn't understand, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to execute. You need to have good understanding. And listen, not only sometimes folk want to stop at just what they understand. Don't you know what you don't understand to make 50,000 worlds? Sometimes some people get a little understanding about something. You can't tell them anything about religion. Oh, that's not what I heard. That's not what I know. I don't care what you were taught. You haven't been taught by the word of God. And you don't have what? Come on. Understanding. You will never, ever be able to execute anything in life. In order for you to ask this beautiful lady to marry you when you did, you had understanding that this lady will make me a good wife. You understood that. Yes, smile at him. <laughs> and you understood that. And she said, yes. It was one of the best days of your life Amen. that she said yes Amen. to you because you understood. Amen. Amen. You said yes. yes. You understood. Amen. Now let me tell you something. When your understanding get off, all right, uh -oh. come on, uh -oh. and, and, and and you know you and you gotta. I'm I'm just very serious. Always pray and ask God to give you good understanding. I just shared with you what is the meaning of that you must receive. In order to <laughs> you have good understanding, you must receive an intelligent interpretation of any part. You must receive that intelligent interpretation. And then you are able to execute. And the word of God gives to us, and I'm not going to let me down on a minute, that God himself had to touch the understanding yeah. of his apostles, yeah. his disciples. And you must remember that they were walking with him for years. Yeah. Right. And they still didn't have a good understanding All right. as to what was really going on around them. And what they were really a part of. And sometimes people take it lightly that you don't really understand what you are a part of. To be a part of any ministry that preaches, teaches the truth to the best of their ability. Hello? 
you ought to count yourself blessed because so many folk go off into some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. And lead people astray. So when you are in a place where you can get good, let everybody say good. good. Understanding, you're blessed above many. The disciples, the apostles that the Lord Jesus Christ had called. He had all 11 with them. You remember Judas. His name bag uh, means bag bearer. He was the, Judas was the treasurer. Jesus was an itinerant preacher yes, he was. that pre Thank you, sir. That went around in Bethany and uh, uh, Jericho, all those surrounding areas, preaching the kingdom of God, not the gospel. Yes, yes. Not the gospel. He was preaching the kingdom of God. As did John the Baptist was preaching the kingdom of God and was baptizing them and hollering, repent! Yes. Until it was time for Jesus to be baptized. All right. All right. Good God from Zion. Right. Let everybody say understanding. understanding. When you have a good understanding, it gives you a satisfaction down in your spirit. Yes. I wish I could talk to somebody. Say, you, you, say, when say. you have good understanding, it's nothing like having good understanding. Now, listen, I have been off on the wrong rail, All right. but I was brought back with what? Good understanding. Oh, yeah. And so were you. Yeah. In life, you can get off on the wrong track. Amen. Amen. You don't have right un good understanding. Let everybody say good understanding. good understanding. And the scripture said that Jesus, he opened up their understanding. How many really want God to open up your understanding? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. About life. You'd be surprised to know the people who have lived 50, 60, 40, 80, 70 years and still don't have a good handle and understanding on life. Now, brothers and sisters, when you leave here today, I want you, and I'm going to be done, to realize the value, uh -huh. and repeat this after me, of having uh -huh. good understanding. Uh -huh. Sometimes people don't have good understanding about you. Uh -huh. You ever had anybody to tell you, you know what, what was said about you is not true? Somebody came along and gave you what? Not only that, but the person that you had a miscue on. And not a good understanding is right on. And about. You had interaction with that person. And when you had interaction with that person, Mother Karen Harrison, then you learn differently. And if you're honest, uh -huh. and if you're truthful, yes. you will admit to the truth. All right. All right. You know, I had the wrong understanding. All right. All right. Let everybody say lie. lie. You know, that's the worst thing in the world, is to be lied to. And the devil is a, wait a minute, he's the father. Of lies. He'll whisper something in your ear and tell you something about someone that is not true. And all you need, let everybody say validation. See, see, yeah, one, give one. See, validation, that's what the devil seeks to do to validate lies. And what happens when people get thrown off? even about their own selves uh -huh. as to who they are. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I don't want to go there. The devil can lie to people, to persons, individuals, 
and whisper things. You got to always remember this and make sure you say, folks, that he ain't talking to you from inside. From inside. Now, what do you mean by that, Pastor? That when you are hearing from the inside, maybe the Lord is not there. All right. Because he's not going to dwell in an unclean country. All right. Amen. That's what he said. So when these lies come to you, he's from the outside. He's, he's, he's attacking you from the outside. Uh-huh. You say, folks. Because he can sound so real till you think it's your own mind. Don't you know that the devil is a spirit? You can't see a spirit with your natural eye. What's in this world that we cannot see with the natural eye will make a million worlds. And so what he does, he whispers by spirit. In your ear, and he tells you things, and you believe it, and you he repeats it over and over. And then after a while, he'll send somebody along to validate his lie. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. People tell their children sometimes, "You ain't no good. You ain't gonna never be anything. This and that, and so forth and so on." Call them all kind of names. Don't do that. Amen. People ought not to do that. Amen. Because somebody, the devil, gonna eventually send somebody along. That's going to validate what you call them and what you said to them. That's what he does. Tell the Lord, thank you. People of the Lord, it is so critical for the people of God, you as a child of God, to get the understanding. Before you begin to run with stuff that people tell you especially. And repeat. Be careful of what you repeat. Because you don't want to be a carrier of a lie. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You don't want to be a carrier of a lie. Amen. And validate the lie by repeating it and saying it. And you really don't even know whether it's true or not. You don't even know whether it's true or not. All right. All right. You don't. So Jesus had to give them what? Good understanding as to who he really is, his origination, where he come from, that he's in the word. He said, the law of Moses. See, I was there in the law of Moses. And all of the, are y'all with me? And all of the prophets that was used by God to speak and to make prophetic statements of the coming Messiah. See, I was in there. And then the song, I was there. And now you had the privilege to walk with me and to handle the word of God, living word of God. Jesus, everybody say the Christ. He opened their understanding that they would know who he was and who he is to you and to me. Was 11 with them when he did that, when he left? Circling back to Judas, Judas was the bag bearer. Uh He carried the treasure, the money. Jesus was the itinerant preacher. He helped the poor. He blessed people. Are y'all listening to me? He did that. Uh And he spoke to us in his word about feeding the hungry, right? Shelter to the poor, right? He did it in his ministry, and he preached the truth to the people, right? And so he opened up, and Judas, and you got to remember now, Judas was a thief. Uh He was, the Bible called him a thief. And you know what, most a lot of time when you hear people talking about, yeah, but the money, the money, the money, follow them up most of the time. Remember when they prepared Jesus for his burial? 
-hmm. And then Judas came in. What are y'all doing? I put in and spending all this money. Uh, the owner filled the house. Oh, y'all, did y'all read that? You could have given that to the poor. He knew he wasn't going to give nothing to the poor. Take it for himself. And the reason why that he sold Jesus down the river for 30 pieces of silver because he had stuck his hand in the till and it was time to give a report and he didn't have it. And he sold Jesus. He was a thief and a robber and a liar and a murderer from the beginning. And Jesus knew it. But he made choice of it. Jesus can deal with anybody's heart. He can change anybody. If you let him. Some folk don't want Jesus to deal with them. Some folk have been vaccinated with just enough of Jesus to fight the real thing off. When you receive a vaccination for smallpox, whatever it is, they've given you just enough. All right. I need some help here. Yes. They've given you just enough to fight off the what? Real thing. Yes, yes, yes. Some folk, yeah, absolutely. And, but some folk, you got just enough of Jesus uh -huh. to fight off the real thing. You need Jesus to do you in. Those apostles were given understanding as to who they were dealing with. Who I am. Where I've come from. Why? After he had been resurrected, uh -huh. after he was crucified dead. Now, you got to remember the reality of all of this going on. And you can't fight them and you can't fault them. Now, you know, he was crucified on a Friday, put in a tomb, buried. They were threatened. They were hiding out. Are y'all listening to me? They were hiding out. Am I saying right? They were high. They were scared. They were scared. They were, they were, oh, God. They were, he was dead. They watched him die. And they took him down and put him in Joseph's tomb. A very man fair. A rich man. They watched that. So they didn't know what they were going to do. They didn't know what they were going to do. He's dead. What are we going to do? Jesus is dead. He was our hope. He was our everything. We leaned on him. When he was on trial, when the young lady saw Peter say, you know what? I saw him. He was with Jesus. They came and said, were you with Jesus? Ah, he started cursing. I wasn't with him. Wow, he denied him. But the scripture said he went out and he wept bitterly. And he repented that he had denied him. Sometimes people get in a circle, and when people identify folk that you are a church person, you, you go to church, you remember this, you know? Oh, I, I go over there sometimes. Mm. Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Peter denied him. Yeah. But Peter repented. Yeah. Did everybody say repented. Yeah. repented. He repented. And he listened to what he had to say in this great commission. Yes. And they went to Jerusalem mm -hmm. after he was risen from the grave. And they waited on the Holy Ghost. Yes. And they tired them waiting. Yes. Mm -hmm. He walked with them on this earth for 40 days mm -hmm. after his resurrection. The Bible said in the first chapter of Acts, teaching them uh -huh. the things pertaining 
to the kingdom of God. That's why the apostles had understanding and they could write these epistles mm -hmm. to the churches that they correct the churches. They corrected individuals. Why? Because Jesus, the, by the Holy Spirit, God, yes. opened up their what? Understanding. And they explain to you and to me how we should act, who we should be, how we should live after the Holy Spirit has come into our lives. Amen. After he opened up their understanding mm. and they had a good understanding as to what this resurrection, death, burial, resurrection was all about uh -huh. and where it was leading us and taking us. How blessed you are, how blessed I am, every one of us, that we are recipients of the resurrection of Jesus Christ Amen. and that we know him in the pardon of our sins Amen. and that he gives us the power and the strength to live for him on a daily basis because Christ, through and by the Spirit of God, lives within us. People need to have clarity and understanding how you can live on a daily basis mm -hmm. through and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Well, do wrong? Yes, you will. You get wrong. Amen. There's no perfect person. Amen. I don't care how much you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Even the writers of these texts they admitted that they were wrong in some area. Yes. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. But through and by the power of Almighty God and the forgiveness that God gives to you and to me Hallelujah. when you ask him to forgive you. Yes. Don't act like that you don't know what you're doing when you do wrong. Right. Right. When you get wrong, you do what? You ask for what? Forgiveness. Because you have what? Understanding as to what this is all about. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you Lord. Just like, yeah, just like he opened the understanding of his disciples, he opens up the understanding of you and me through and by his word. In the book of Gal uh, Galatians, Chapter 2, verse 20. Turn to that scripture. Chapter 2, verse 20. It says, For I am crucified with Christ. What? Come on, everybody, read it. Nevertheless, I what? Nevertheless, I what? I live. I'm living. I'm moving. Nevertheless, I live. What? Yet? Not I. Yet not I. Look at somebody say, I'm trying to give you understanding. Yet not I, but what? Who? Come on. Christ? That what? Where? Where? In me. In the life, come on, which I now what? Is what? You live where? Come on, y'all scared to read it. In the flesh. Are you in the flesh? Are you in the flesh? Yet not I. But who? Christ that what? That lives where?
Did everybody say understanding? This is what Resurrection Sunday is all about. Christ lives in you. In the flesh. Yet not I. But Christ, what, lives in the life that I now live. It's through the faith of the Son of God who, what, lives where? In me. Does he live in you? Because somebody say, by faith, he lives in me. God bless you. Stand to your feet, everybody. I'm done. Let everybody say, understanding. This is what Resurrection Sunday is all about. What did I say, Resurrection Sunday? This is what Resurrection Sunday is all about. Is that you and me can live a victorious life. Don't let the devil, he tells you lies every day. People who succumb to the weakness and to his lies that you cannot live for Christ. He's a liar and the truth is not in him. The word of God proves to you and me that if Christ lives in you, In the flesh. Amen. You're not out of the flesh. The problem is that some folks just don't want to give up. They don't want to turn loose themselves. They don't want to let go. They don't want to give their lives over to God completely and totally. And the devil tell you all kinds of lies. You can't do this. No, you can't. But Jesus can. Amen. All you need to do is surrender your life to him. I'm a living witness. These six, over six decades, I testify to the goodness of Jesus. To the goodness of Jesus. Hello. That if you want to, Sister Madlock, you can live for the Lord. How many believe that? Y'all really believe that? When you have good understanding. God gives to you and me good, let everybody say good understanding. good understanding. A lot of folk have understanding, but they don't have the right understanding. Tell the Lord, thank you. Jesus gave to them understanding. Every person that under the sound of my voice, that hear my voice today, that's on the platform, you can live for Christ. Amen. You need to memorize that scripture, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. If you don't already have that scripture, young people, children, teenagers, teenagers, young adults, young men, young women, the Lord saved me when I was 19 years old, almost 20 years old. And I've been living for him ever since. Got wrong, did wrong, yes I did. Repented, yes I did. Continued to walk with God, yes I did. You find me back in old clubs and don't dance and float on the floor. I dance on this on the church house floor. <laughs> Cutting up, acting crazy like I was before I found God. And some of you that are saved, you can let your mind go back how the devil made a monkey out of you. And you know what he will do? He will make a monkey out of you if you let him make a monkey out of you. Some of us, I know I can look back on my life. Look back on my life. The devil made me acting like a monkey. and thought I was, I told, told my girls, I try to tell girls, and young girls, these children, young ladies, we want to try to get a hold of them, Canelli. Teach them some things and pour in our children. Some things that they need to know at an early age. I met a young fellow the other day, about 14, 15 years old with his parents. And I 
say, so what you want to do, what to become about money? I say, son, money will come if you decide what you want to do in life. And that is the right thing. When people are caught up, you can look at some of these little YouTubes and all that stuff that they have on this about some of these young people. All they're about is money. I ain't got nobody now. You know what I'm saying? Devil knows how to deceive people. But he's a liar and the truth is not in him. Let everybody see once again understanding. Good understanding. That's what we need. Good understanding to walk with the Lord, to live for him, and to walk with Almighty God. It's good understanding that you can do it if you want to do it. If you don't want to do it, it ain't going to happen. You don't want to have a successful marriage, keep on living. You're going to make sure that that's not going to be successful because you ain't going to do right. I wish I had some help up in here. See, I can talk about marriage because I was always, I, my life, I was married for almost 48 years. Most of those years right here before y'all. Tell the Lord, thank you. My wife loved me and I loved her. Tell the Lord, thank you. You can make it in marriage. That's one of the best institutions. That's one of the best institutions in the whole wide world. Amen. It's good marriage, good marriage. Tell the Lord, thank you. All right, God bless you. Father, thank you for this day. Bless us in Jesus' name, we pray. Is there a person that don't really know Jesus today and you want to, boy, girl, man, when y'all come and let me pray for you now. I want to join up with the fellowship, this church. Come, let me pray for you before we go into our communion service. Before we go into our communion service, the Lord bless you. Bless us, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. We thank you for what you've already done, how you have blessed us, how you have made ways, how you have opened doors, how you have been with us. In spite of ourselves, you've blessed us. You've been patient with us. And God, we thank you for that given us good understanding about you and we have so much to learn so much more help us to learn the more that we might be better servants for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray thank God amen and amen well Harrison is going to come and lead us into our time of communion you may be seated and I want, after we shall have received our communion for today, I want to receive a special gift, a special offering for this church, not for me, for the church. I need your help and your support. God will bless you if you obey and if you listen and you plant seeds in this ministry. I have great faith and great confidence in this ministry because I'm the pastor of this church. Say amen. amen. God bless you and God love you and God keep you. Come on, Pastor. Praise the Lord, saints. I want to say praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise for that powerful word of God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. As we transition into our Holy Communion, our bishop talk about understanding. We must understand what we are about to do, that this is not a ritual. Come on. But this is a worship. That we are worshiping our Lord and Jesus Christ, our Savior. That this is a celebration. That is not a ritual. That we have understanding that we are coming together uh, to celebrate the sacrifice uh, that our Lord and Jesus Christ had did for us. At this time, our Elder Reddick is coming and praying a prayer of forgiveness.
kind of fellowship with God. And we dare not come in our own righteousness. We dare not come thinking that we deserve God's mercy and God's grace. And we dare not come without acknowledging that there are those times in which we have displeased the Lord, those times in which we have fallen short. But hallelujah, thank God for forgiveness. It is God's forgiveness that allows us to maintain a relationship with whatever may occur in our lives. So let us pray. Oh God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your forgiveness. It is your forgiveness that allows us to maintain this relationship with you. It's not through our power. It's not through our goodness. It's not through even our activity. But it's because you have ordained that if we will repent that the forgiveness is automatic. So as we prepare to receive of Holy Communion, thank you for your forgiveness for all of the little sins as well as the great sins that would separate us from you. Thank you that your love penetrates deeper than whatever may separate us. And it is through your forgiveness. So we ask this prayer, receiving this blessing, for we ask it in the name of the one who you anointed, appointed, and who is our risen Savior. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The scripture comes from 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, starting at the 23rd verse. For I received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brothers, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home that ye come not together into condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Let us pray over the elements. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we come before you again, O God. Lord God, we ask in the name of Jesus, O God, that, Heavenly Father, as we partake, O Lord, that you turn this natural to supernatural. Yes, Heavenly Father, that you bless the, the meat of the great and unleavened bread, O God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, as we partake, that we remember, O God, the sacrifice. We remember, oh God, what Heavenly Father was done to you for us, oh God. For the song say, if you would have did it just for me, you would have did it all over again, oh God. And Lord, we want to thank you, oh God. We want to give you the praise and glory, oh God. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Glory be to God. And everyone is welcome to partake. Whether you're a member or not a member, you are welcome to partake in our holy communion. Glory be to God. Glory. They say it's the meal that heals. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. 
glory. As we sit down, we remember his sacrifice. Remember how he shed his blood for our sins. Glory be to God. the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. he have done for us. Just take your mind back from the scriptures. Glory be to God. Glory. It gives us strength. Give us strength. Given thanks, he had break it and say, Take ye, this is my body which was broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. And after the same manner also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood. This do ye as also that you drink in remembrance of me. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just give God praise, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, glory. Feast on him by faith in your hearts. Minds and spirits. The Lord Jesus Christ blessed us and have left this oh, hallelujah on record for us to participate. As oft as you do this, you show forth his death, his suffering, his burial, his resurrection. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Let's give God praise. All over the building, give God praise. Worship him. And we worship him. And we worship him, the God of our salvation. Hallelujah. 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 Praise our God. The Lord bless you. 
The Lord love you. Get ready to go. Remain standing. I would like to challenge just one person today with a special gift. Listen to me carefully. A special gift with me like I given of $100 for the ministry of this church. I'd like to challenge you. One person, you don't have to stand in the aisle. You don't have to raise your hands. You don't have to do that. Between you and the Lord, between you and the Lord, raise your hand if you need an envelope to participate in our after offering, in our after offering, our special time of sacrifice. Anyone that needs an envelope, praise God. After I shall have prayed, praise God. I've enjoyed the worship time. May God bless you. May the Lord bless all of you. I'm going to pray and ask the Lord bless you all this week. Join in with us on Thursday night for our worship time Bible study on Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. via Zoom. And the Lord will bless you. Thank you. Our musicians, may the Lord bless you. Music makes a difference, am I right? I said music makes a difference, am I right? God bless. I appreciate all of you that are here on today. May God bless you and heaven smile upon you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray that you will touch the hearts of your people and give us all understanding that we will be better people for you. We will serve you better. We will do better in so many areas of our lives. And Lord, as we give today that which you have spoken and allowed me to be a blessing to share in this special offering today, you bless all of us as we participate and make this day a glorious day in worship and in giving. In Jesus' name we pray, thank God. Amen and amen. The Lord be with you.